You may think that I'm talking about enclosed cognition just so that I can wear this lab coat and look really authoritative, and you'd be partly right. The real reason I was wearing doctor drag is that I want to talk about whether or not clothes really do make the man, or in this case, the woman. Because we all know that our minds influence our bodies, but there's an idea that the body and what we expose to it can influence how we process and act on information. This is called embodied cognition. In fact, you may have heard about a study on how a warm beverage can actually change your behavior. Yale psychologist Williams and Barg found that when they let participants hold a warm cup of coffee as opposed to a cold drink, the participants judged others to be more sociable, transforming their warm beverage to warm feelings for others. Another example is a study by University of Amsterdam psychologist Jocelyn Lincoln and Schubert who asked students to fill out questionnaires on a clipboard. Well, unbeknownst to the participants, half of the clipboards were weighted. Both groups were then asked to judge the value of a foreign currency they knew nothing about, then weigh in on financial matters of the university, and finally report how satisfied they felt with the city of Amsterdam and its mayor. So those holding the weighted clipboards not only judged the currency to have a greater value than their regular weight clipboard counterparts, they also considered their opinion of the university's financial situation very important and put some serious consideration into the inner workings of the city of Amsterdam. Hey, don't scoff! You know how important you feel when you're wielding a clipboard, so it's not all that strange that a heavy one might make you feel like you're wearing super important fancy pants. Which all leads back to this doctor's coat and the idea of enclosed cognition. So what do you think about when you see a doctor's coat? Trustworthiness, attentiveness, precision, increased concentration? Well, studies by Adam D. Galinsky bore out the relationship between the lab coat and increased levels of attention. In one of his studies, he used something called the Stroop test, basically a test where you report the color you see on a screen, except you'd see something like the word red depicted in green letters and report red instead of green. It's a pretty high error rate from most people, but it's a great way to gauge concentration levels. So 58 undergraduates were randomly assigned to wear a white lab coat or street clothes. Those who wore the white lab coats made about half as many errors as those who wore regular clothes on that Stroop test. In another experiment, 74 students were randomly assigned to one of three options, wearing a doctor's coat, wearing a painter's coat, which was exactly the same as the lab coat, by the way, or just seeing a doctor's coat. Then they were given a test for sustained attention to find differences between images. Those who wore the doctor's coat, even though it was identical to the painter's coat, well, they found more differences. So just looking at the doctor's coat wasn't enough to engage embodied cognition. In order to truly embody the symbol of what it means to be a doctor, the students had to feel the texture and the weight of the material on their skin to increase their attention level scores, which leads to this idea that we're all just a bunch of paper dolls performing whatever role we assign to ourselves by the clothes we stick to our bodies. So do you believe in this idea of enclosed cognition? If so, I have a question for you. What did you wear last Halloween and did it change your behavior? Let us know in the comments below and to keep the videos coming, make sure to subscribe.